Need to breathe. Bro, you need to flash just move funny closer questions. to the mic. <laughs> nah, no funny questions. You can move closer to the mic as well. Move the chair closer. Yeah. Okay. Right. Cameras are rolling. Audio. Audio is good. Okay. You can start in five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Have you noticed the breathing exercises from our guest today? Oh man, he's he said he said to me, yeah, can I, yeah, yeah. So that's you. <laughs> That's you. So he says to me, "Yeah, I, I think you had gone out." And he says, "Damn, you look so serious, man. You're scaring me." <laughs> <laughs> watching you guys, have been watching you. You've been watching us. Yeah. Um, what, so, wait, wait. so I'm pretty sure you know we are friendly people. No, <laughs> nah, we're good, man. No. Which which one is the manager? Is it Martin Kabeba or one of these here? Raymond. Raymond, yeah. the one with the dreadlocks. Yeah, simple looking guy. <laughs> oh, him. Yeah. You see why I went to the other guy? Because that guy is too simple to be a manager, right? Ah, <laughs> too simple? Right he looks too simple. What do, you, what, what do you mean by too simple? No, I'm saying he, he said the simple looking guy. So I'm saying he looks why too you, simple. Why are you taking shots at him? Mm. What is too simple? I'm not. It's all I'm saying is simple. What, like what metal from... is that that looks light but it's heavy? That's that. That's the, that's the dude. <laughs> that's that. Yeah, he looks like he's ready to fight. <laughs> I, I thought it was Martin because Martin said, nah, Chameleon doesn't want to come to the podcast. Uh, <laughs> no, no. No miscommunication. Miscommunication? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Apparently, we ask very uh, tough Be things friends. and you don't want to come over to the podcast. I'm but scared to come here. Scared to come here. No. And yet here you are. No, man. No. Well, let's do it. 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 <laughs> All right. We're starting now. Actually, we started a few minutes ago. Welcome to the podcast. Uh, Leo Moyo, otherwise known as Chameleon. He's a man who many have described as uh, Westlife in one human being because you gave us so many sing-along songs back in the day. The way Westlife did. Okay. okay. What's with the gray hair, man? The, the dye looks so natural. I've tried to dye. Like, it's not, it's not dye. Working somewhere. No. Uh. It's, it's, I just woke up one day and I was like... The, <laughs> one side. I don't, sure think, I, I one don't side think you're that gray. old to have this much gray no. hair. No, I don't think gray has got anything to do with age. It, it isn't, eh? In, 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 in most people. Most people. 32 and he's yeah, uh, genetics. I know lots of people. Complete. Yeah, Maybe I, just move close to the mic and hardly okay, get cool. you. Yeah. I know, I know yeah. lots of people like they're in their twenties, some are in their twenties, some are in their thirties mm. and they've got gray hair. I know some that are in their seventies and they don't have gray hair. Like my uncle, bro, my mom's young brother. For word. 60 mm. something, no gray hair. And he doesn't die. And, and your dad? The people like and my dad had a lot. The people were just... He was? Like, my dad had a lot of gray hair. He did. Yeah, he so did. you know you're going to have gray hair. Right? I, I, I hope I pick up from my mom's side, though. <laughs> not like me, no. I don't know, not like you in any way. No, no. <laughs> but, you know, you are old don't in a way yell, because... What's because if I remember no, no, correctly... You know you're old when your fans are like <laughs> 72. <laughs> That's when you're like, I'm old, man. <laughs> <laughs> I used to Dude. listen to your music when I was young. I'm like, come on, man. <laughs> or when they say my mom loves your music. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at these guys, your grandfather, man. <laughs> oh, gosh, man. Anywho, that's that podcast. My name is K Plus. Yeah. And uh, it's K Plus, baby. My brother here goes by the name The Ruler of Rubbing You the Wrong Way, aka mm. The Prince of Pissing People Off, <clears throat> aka Your Favorite Uncle. AKA, you go with what? I'm saying AKA is up on the questions, please. Yeah. AKA is up on the questions today. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm always easy. Who? Who? You mean him or I? You. Me? Yeah. I'm going to ask the easiest, most friendliest questions. I've known him for a long time, so I'm assuming Re- he's going to be nice. Do you know how long? <laughs> no, nah, let, me, let, me, let, me let me not bring how long I've known you, how long you've known because me. Because you're going to expose your age? <laughs> that too. That too. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, speaking of uh, me exposing my age, <laughs> the song that was what 2002, yeah? Mm, yeah. <laughs> that was 2002, right? Yeah, dude, this is a story my mom shouldn't. I hope my mom doesn't watch this episode, <laughs> but she loves your music as well, yeah. <laughs> We, we, and my mom, my mom, my, my mom turned seventy this year. <laughs> we just <laughs> <laughs> no, the man 
man said, can you please ease up on the top question? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, 2002. Yeah. I'm in grade 11. I've told you this story before. Okay. I'm in grade 11. Mm-hmm. Boarding school. Okay. And you know this address all over town and uh, big gig happening tonight. Chameleon is coming over and we hit the club. I'm in grade 11, by the way. Boarding school. Mm-hmm. We hit the club at night. I'm on the dance floor. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. <laughs> Dude, so I am on. bopping so hard on the dance floor and I feel somebody tap my shoulder, and right shoulder at the back. The headmaster. <laughs> of the boarding school and I look back dude you know where you feel your heart's in your mouth yeah <laughs> literally long story short I got expelled thanks to, thanks to you what? yeah okay. and this is the time when you just I think you just finished singing at the end of it and you caught Tai too on the stage saying this is a new boy on the, on the scene his name is Titus <laughs> people don't believe me when I say I used to bring these guys on stage and dude like, no. you brought you brought Tai too on the stage you introduced him ah, we didn't think much of his music because all we wanted to see was you <laughs> Do you ever think, imagine if God judged people by the number of people they influenced or made do negative things? Do you know how many people you would actually carry with you if you went to hell for... Be a heavy load. (laughs) Or do you make people do horrible stuff? No, no. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. Who? It's like the gun kills, not the person behind the gun. Yeah, but do you know how many children were born because of your music? (laughs) People have told me that. (laughs) So I mean, people used to have sex to your songs? Yeah. yeah. Like, like it was one of those slow love yeah. making type of songs. Yeah. Look at how you dance with that on stage. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, but you, made, made, you, made, you made us dance to those on stage. Yeah? Like New Awaker. Yeah. Dude, speaking of which, we've got uh, a WhatsApp group and uh, a Patreons group. A Patreons group. So this is um, a WhatsApp group that has got the closest What's fans. Up? Yeah. Um, and we sort of give priority to people. That are in that group. So we told them that Chameleon is going to be our next guest. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And um, okay, if they want to call and ask you questions, uh, those okay. are the only ones who call and ask questions. If And a couple of questions came. Joseph. So I'm not going to be the only one that's going to be asking <laughs> questions. Before you even get in the Patreon, yeah. do you want to give a shout out to where we are? Yes, Coming we up? are at uh, Lifestyle Studio at East Park Mall. And uh, you can record podcasts from here, TV shows, whatever. It's a very beautiful studio. I'm sure you're going to see more of us posting about it on the social media, our social media platforms and the likes. And also, uh, Zamtel. You want to talk about Zamtel for a little bit? Yeah. Um, you know, we really need to get in touch with Zamtel. Mm. Um, oh, I, did I tell you that I ran into someone to Zamtel for a meeting? And uh, as I'm about to leave, somebody taps me on my shoulder I turn around and guess who it is? Suyanji. Mm. Oh, yeah. It's not a Zamtel. Yeah. He mentioned yeah. that on his socials, yeah. Yeah, it looks all serious and whatnot in, in his suit. corporate way. Mm-hmm. It always seems like very calm, too. Yeah. Like, it seems like nothing rattles him. <laughs> anyway, uh, there, there's more on the screen coming up when it comes to Zamtel. Chameleon, there's a question coming from uh, Australia, my most favorite country on the planet. Perth, to be specific. Perth, to be specific. And Joseph says, uh, did he used to write his music from his life experiences? And if you listen to songs like Sembe and Dule Buksha, they sound like songs that came from situations somebody experienced. Do life experience help artists generate creative ideas? Can an artist lose their creative juice if they lack new experiences in life? That's like a two-part question. <laughs> yes and no. Okay. So which is the yes part, which is the no part? The yes part, it's uh, good to write songs that people can relate to. You know, it's easy for you to say, oh, I've been through that, so it's close to my heart, you know. And then know in that you can't, not everything can be about you, you know. You have to think of people out there. So you know, when, you run out of, when you run out of topics, you can't, uh, you can't say, okay, let me pick on that, uh, that experience that I had that day and put it in a song. Because all your songs will sound the same. So sometimes we sit down and say, what can hit people close to the heart, you know? Like, is it a situation about um, his wife leaving because he doesn't provide at home? Mm. Or it's about um, him being a good father at home or something like that? So we pick on topics that people can relate to, and then sometimes it's uh, personal experiences. So the songs that do you, uh, do you Joseph understand? mentioned, uh, Sam Ben Dulebu, he says those sounded <laughs> like you went through that. <laughs> Did you? Dulebu, yeah. What does the song talk about? <laughs> uh, yeah. It talks about, Ulebu says, like you meeting a girl in adulthood who you used to admire when you were young, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. She's married now. <laughs> <laughs> so were you both young at the same time or were you older and she was young? No, we were almost ages. So she's 
So grown, you, and, grown and sexy now. <laughs> so do you still? Do oh, you still someone's wife. Sorry. So do you still have a? <laughs> not, not that we know who it is, but do, do you still have a thing for her? Not really, but then I'm sure if we had it to never meet, really goes you know, away. Sparks would fly, you know. If you had what? If we had to meet. So you haven't met. No. Is she in Lusaka? Funny enough, I haven't bumped into any of my exes. But she's not your ex, though. She was a crush. More like ex. She, so you guys had a we, thing. We feel things now. <laughs> you say what? We, we, we had a thing. Okay, yeah. Oh, you did have a thing. Yeah. A relationship with no, but like when, a you're young, when you're young, you don't have you know serious relationships. Well, well, what mm. age are we talking here? Ten, eleven. Ah, right. Yeah, wow. yeah. That's you're still playing house. Yeah, yeah. But then, I mean, it was it was it was, it was what it was. So you haven't you haven't run into her? No. So how do you know she's growing sexy? Like Facebook? Yeah, Facebook. Is she in Lusaka? No, probably. See, I'm getting can I, can cool I look around? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. How would I what you actually look like? We're getting closer to mentioning things here. Yeah. Yeah. Now, imagine so if she so stole the husband. Check <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to see her name, no, man. I want to see, I want to see, I want to see, like, the kind of things we're going to. Dude, you want to wipe him off? I've got these nuts on No, the top lip. Wait, wait, wait. What are these nuts? Yeah. <laughs> Found her? Yeah. She's got a long Now, ima- imagine she's if she's actually told now. the husband that she does dated this guy when they were young and now he's still mentioning that he has these. Uh, ah, well, it's be, so good? Ah, that'll, be, that'll be interesting. Then. That'll be, yeah, that's my point. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Girl, what happened? <laughs> oh, okay. Yo, this is here. Yeah, let's see. Wait, is she here like Elson already follows her here or? No. No? Nope. I don't. <laughs> I don't know too many people from the couple. Then she doesn't have something. That's on the left, yeah? On the left. Hello. <laughs> but she's cute. Yeah. She's, uh, is, is this a recent photo? When is this? 2014. 2014. No, it's not a recent photo. You can scroll down and see the new latest photo. Yeah, mm-hmm. no, but it's okay. Uh, so mm-hmm. Okay. I hope there's no camera in the back there. <laughs> no, 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 just this two. <laughs> so you like them slim? Yeah. This yeah is there what... should be enough beef, you know. Like, just to play around no, but she's beef. slim, though. Not, well, unless not, she, unless she's bigger now. Not now. Oh, okay. Not you know, <laughs> we, I've known the artist Chameleon for like so many years, man. Over 20 years, we've been listening to your music, you've been in the industry that long. There's one dumb question I've never asked you before, <laughs> though. Okay. Like where the name came from. Uh, is it talking about the chameleon or is it talking about millions? What, um, what, what does it come from? So what happened was um, when we started, we, we had no, there was no name flying in the air. It was nothing completely. I remember Leo Monto was there. Mm. So we thought, ah, should I call myself Leo? It's like there's two Leos there. So if you say Leo, what are they going to look at? So we thought, ah, look, let's not use Leo. Let's um, think of something at least that we relate to how you came to the studio and how you came to exist. So what came to mind was I was able to sing any type of music, like blues, jazz, reggae, any type of music mm-hmm. that Charlie threw at me. So I was like, ah, you're like a comedian. You're able to adapt to any style mm-hmm. of music. I was like, ah, if we use that, then how would we spell it? Because that's Jose Chameleon. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so instead of uh, the CH, you used K. That, that was uh, Charlie's idea. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, you were with Charlie? Mm. Is, that's Charlie Bravo, right? Charlie oh, Bravo, yeah. yeah. So would he also put his own face on your on your artwork? No. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I do. <laughs> I do, I do. <laughs> <laughs> right, it reminds me of Redford Calabar. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I'm, I'm yeah. free to talk about it because me and Charlie are close. Right. We're close and... No beef. No, but More like, questions keep coming, bro. Okay. It's not coming from me. Bring I can just give you the phone and you can bring them. Bring them. On, bring them on. <laughs> right. So no we have got um, Mate Precious, all the way in the UK. <laughs> International fans, bro. <laughs> Big deal. Those are the ones with the crazy questions. Uh, wait. No, no, no. Mm. <laughs> She's talking about the, our previous episode. But she, she did ask uh, one or two questions when we told her. Let me just go to it. You remember the questions that she asked, right? Mm, I think we'll bring those up at the end. No, I want, I want to know more. Already here, since we are okay, yeah, okay. I think the one that I want to ask. Yeah, that one should come at the end. I know the, exactly the one you want to ask. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Let's pick it up at the end. No, there's two that I want to ask. No, you can ask. You can ask. You can ask. We two. can knock them out. Well, hold on, Kalinga. Yeah. Let's just knock them out. <laughs> so I noticed you do not want to put your car key in your pocket. Are you trying to like just show us something here? No, partly that. Yeah, but then <laughs> no, no, of course not. <laughs> Because I've just gotten used to the idea of playing the keys. Ah, yeah. right. Right. Yeah, yeah. So no, no, I, sorry, no, man. No, it's okay, bro. You can, <laughs> listen, man. You can, <laughs> it's okay. You can, um, you can, you, you can floss them. So is that the card that you got from uh, the Julemo guy? Oh. No, you got another one. <laughs> Wait, hold on. How many cards did you get? Just two. You got two cards? Just yeah. two. Can we get an applause? <laughs> so was this at the back of the whole Yango thing that happened? No, no, no. We had something before, but then... You don't put all cards on the table. So, uh-huh. you, don't oh, so you own the cards? Yeah. No, no, the GLM one is, we're still paying for it. So. Oh, so it wasn't free? Yeah. The so, other one was, we, we worked for it. Wait, so the, you got one car free? Mm. Well, who from? GLM. Not free, free, but then GLM gave it to us on a thing, uh, like a pay slow arrangement. Oh, so it's not free? No, it's not. So People did, thought it was free. Though. So why did, why did they make it seem like they're giving you a free car? No, no, no. They just wanted, they just wanted to show that um, you can actually get a car from Jeremu like in a certain mm. way, blah, blah, blah. But then they they paid part of the money. They paid part of the money? Yes. Like how much of the money just did they Just 10 grand. 10 grand. Hmm. So the rest of it you're paying for? Yeah. So people think, no, you got a free car. Why should we give you something free, man? If I wanted something free, I would get it. Easy, uh-huh. you know, but then I have to work for it. So what was happening around that time? And is it true, by the way? Let's let's start there. The younger thing. The, yeah, the whole younger thing. No, it was just a misunderstanding. So, it was a misunderstanding so? that was blown out of proportion. Mm. So so what happened? Yeah. What was the um, There's a guy that I had uh, an issue with. Mm-hmm. He picked me up. We moved around, moved around. And um, when he came to paying him, I told him, listen, I don't have my card on me. I left it. I don't know where. So come through on the next day and I'll sort you out. The next day I was so busy because we were always moving up and down doing all that stuff. Next day he came through, my phone was off. The other day my phone was off for like five days. So right, your phone was off for five days? How, yeah. How, how does the phone stay off for five days though? Hey man, I'm, I stay off grid sometimes, even a month. Right, <laughs> right. So five days you know, it was off and it slipped my mind that I owed some. Mm. Then that guy quickly, without even hesitating, he just went online and posted. But do you blame yeah. him though? I mean, in his mind, and he figured... You're avoiding yeah, it. You're yeah, avoiding yeah, yeah. it. Right there, right there. I mean, I, I can't blame him. But then, you know, you that's someone's career you're putting on the line, you know. Mm-hmm. You never know how far they've gone or whatever they're doing or what they're working on. And in, so in other countries, they would sue you for that. But then I owed him, so I just mm-hmm. took it out of respect. So let me pay him and keep it on the law. But then look at the silver lining. You got a you got two cars. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But yeah, but people were saying, but hold on, if you can't afford to pay a young girl, how can you afford the gas? That's why people talk, man. If you yeah. talk about Jesus, where am I? <laughs> mm. mm. So people but did talk it bother you, time. though? Hmm? When that happened, did it bother you? I'm so one of the people that made fun of you. Uh, I don't mind. <laughs> yeah. As long as I'm breathing, you see me breathing, right? Yeah, that's <laughs> it. Yeah, yeah, that's so. it. Mm. And, and he never wanted me to, to make fun of you. Very <laughs> close. Because you know what I mean. I, I would always take it personal, and they would tell me, "This is this is why we don't bring um, musicians that you are such a huge fan of on this show because you're so starstruck when they come through." And even before we started, the girls like, "Oh, I'm so starstruck." Yeah. He even got a hard time just now. I got a what? What? Come on, man. A what? What? He's there, man. <laughs> Nigga, I'm not gay. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, we got sponsors here. <laughs> Can you ease up? Yeah, the sponsors okay. will look the other way. <laughs> Dude, um, yeah, this will let you warn me. Mm-hmm. Suelange warned you to mind you. And I really am grateful for Suelange warning you. And he wrote a very interesting email, which I think we should put on the screen one day. <laughs> Suelange, before Zamtel sponsored uh, that's a podcast, wrote an email <laughs> with a list of things Elsa should not she do not, on screen. No <laughs> shisha. Was one of them. Yeah, do not okay. smoke shisha on screen. Do not use Wait, the F so word. Before you used to smoke shisha on screen. Yeah, I was a little. It wasn't good. Yeah, yeah, Look yeah, at your yeah, boss move. Can we, can we get air horns? <laughs> Dude, I can't even not sleep on the decks. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm sorry, I'm so starstruck, bro. I'm not, I can't even hear you right now. now we Dude, and, and then sp- them, speaking right? of the Yango thing, you know, uh, this thing starts trending so much. Every big media house is posting about Camilla not paying for Yango. He's, he's such a finished artist. You know, he, he can't even afford a 50 quarter for Yango. Mm. Did this affect your brand or your bookings in any way? No. People love the music and they still love it. I mean, still listen to it. It's still dedicate to other people. And it's, it's, it is what it is. It's still the music. It won't change anything. Are you married? No. 
<laughs> what did you think about it? <laughs> because it's in the process. So if I say no, I mean, it's in, what's in and the if process? I say yes, are you seeing somebody though? Yeah. Oh, so that's what the, that's the process you mean. <laughs> You're gonna give me trouble. Man. Speaking of seeing somebody and getting married, <laughs> oh. the good segue to the next question. Wow. Kalenga, do you want to say it? <laughs> you know, can this we just switch off the lights or something, man? <laughs> Kalenga, do you want to take the next question from our page? He's, he's talking about the Filanga Do You know the can issue. Can you that's... say who asked that question? Can oh, you give the UK friends? person? <laughs> you know, uh, that's clever. <laughs> Oh, quite. This question too, yeah. We have always heard, this is from uh, Moate Precious. We have always heard that he is or was a heartbreaker and a player in his heyday. Is nice there any truth in it? <laughs> Isn't it nice to be called a heartbreaker? <laughs> it's, been, it's, it's nice being called a heartbreaker? No, I mean, um, bad boy. Not a heartbreaker. You were a bad boy. Then. Then. And I grew up and mm. I'm a different person now. But I never broke anyone else, anyone's heart. <laughs> Situation, so things happen around us and, you know, they blamed me. The, the guy takes the, you know, the blame all the time. But mm. things happen. <laughs> <laughs> you know, sorry, I just laughed because part of what I, part of what you just said was like, and they blame me. You know, who, uh, who you know, have you heard um, the song by Chameleon, uh, Murder Was The Case and They Blame Me? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, it's one of those. Okay. Uh, this, this also ties into... I think it's, it's uh, Moate still. No, actually, Lanji from our uh, Patreon group. Adding on to the player question, <laughs> how many Chilanga Mulilos has Chameleon received? Yes. Just one. One. I heard five. five. No, 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 one. Are you Trust sure? Me. Yeah. What do you mean, am I sure? <laughs> I'm the one that's supposed no, to I be. I mean, there. You, could, you could be telling us this because one. the cameras are on, but. I uh, come from a very um, decent family mm. that brought me up in a certain way and. My father's a good man. I wouldn't want to let, uh, you know, to drag his name in the mud. Right. Yeah. So they wouldn't allow that. They wouldn't mm. allow that. Who wouldn't allow that? My father. Or my parents. Well, right? they're eating. It's free food, bro. No, 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 no. You see, every Chilangam leader, rather, you have to involve your family. Because you can't, you can't marry without, your family? without their blessing. I mean, you can, you can bring anybody. No. I could bring Kalengas, my brother. You're taking him away. Where are you taking him? <laughs> to the fake Chilangam Lilo. No, 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 no. <laughs> no blessings from your family. It, well, they don't they know about blessed. it. If my plan, obviously, is just mm. to, just, like, get free stuff. No, 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 no. So, was, only one. Was, so, and, and it didn't work out? No, it didn't. Okay. It didn't, yeah. So, at what point did it break out? Was it, like, just before? Um, just after, like, close to the kitchen party. Or hey, stuff. the Chilangam Lilo comes after you pay Lobola, right? Uh, yes. What's the pro- you pay Lobola the, first, then Chilangamlilo. There's a Chilangamlilo, yeah. and then there's a what's that? Um, you pay. You we pay. call it in Salam. Yeah, you pay that. Then the process starts for everything else. The Chilangamlilos, the kitchen parties, and everything yeah. else. Yeah. What actually, comes I, afterwards? Yeah, I actually heard like part of the there's money from the Lobola is what buys the groceries mm-hmm. for the Chilangamlilo. Yes, yes, yes. Wait, yes. so at what? So Matebetu comes after the wedding. No, Matebetu is years after yes. the wedding. So people were saying... They're like appreciating Matibetu. you for yeah. taking care of their and, daughter. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Wait, so do you get a refund if you pay your lobola and before you actually get... Yeah, well, traditionally no. you're married. But if no. you called it off, it's do they give you back your money? Back. Yeah, they're supposed to give Did you get your money back? No. <laughs> you know what you should have done? It's just money. You know what you should have done? Money. <laughs> that the, the younger guy who kept bothering you, you should have told him to go to that <laughs> family's parents like... <laughs> These niggas go owe me money. It. Go and get the money from there. <laughs> now, those are my people. I can't do that to them. Bro. But, dude, where, where did the rumors come from, though? Rough kid. Rough kid? Yeah, but I don't, I don't hate him. <laughs> what, this like I'm little rumors? Mm. How? Wait, so how he does... just sang about it and then it blew up. That's it. <laughs> he said you, you had so many Chilangam mm. Lilos? I don't know where he got it from, as in... I don't know. What's his number? I don't know if you're late. Oh, what's, what's his there? number? Hey, what's Rough Kid's number? <laughs> I don't have Rough Kid's number. Bro. I know who does. Rough Kid is Malawi. He's in Malawi, man. Oh, he's so, in Malawi right oh, now. Oh, there's, there's WhatsApp yeah. in Malawi. See my way of making him not stop, to stop making a call. <laughs> you, you don't want me to call him? <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Um, yeah, so he sang about it and it happened. Hmm. No, but we need to find out because there's no smoke without fire. How does no. somebody just say something out of the blue? There has to be something. Um, I don't know. I also don't understand as in how it blew up. But then, you know how people are. They just talk, man. Mm. They talk. They always have something to talk about. Yeah, I mean, like Rihanna says, they people talk, talk whether they do bad or good. Yeah. Um, can we take it back to 
the beginnings of Chameleon. Or is there mm. anything you want to bring up before I talk about his, his past? No, no. Nothing else? Very cool. Mm. I'm, I'm trying to understand how, because to many of us, you, you're a guy who just popped up on the scene with a song. And, and it's, like, it's almost as if your first song was a hit song, <laughs> Ulei Bukisha. <laughs> okay. But are you able to just take us through what before Ulei Bukisha, mm. the story of Chameleon before Ulei Bukisha, that period, yeah? Okay. We were at the time when um, music needed change. Mm. Like from the Pongos, the PKs, and all those people. And there was the Victor Kachaka era, that yeah, Zimas, oh, yeah, that Zimas yeah, was kind of like yeah, a new age, yeah. yeah. So uh, that time music was different, like totally different, as in compared to what came after afterwards. And um, we, so Charlie and I, we we came up with this technique of uh, writing music and making music like in a different way. We would sit down as a group and just play guitar, and people would just throw ideas all over the place. So Mampi, Taitu, Hamova. CQ, all those guys, we just sit down and sing to the music that Charlie would play. Sorry, just a second. Uh-huh. Rough kid. Uh, man. <laughs> <laughs> hello? Yes, hello. Uh, How's it, man? You good? I'm great. Uh, I'm doing well, brother. Sounds like I, I caught you at a bedtime. Sounds like you're sleeping there. <laughs> No, no, it's so good. Nice one. My name is Elson. I'm sitting here with Kalenga. Kalenga, you want to say hi? Uh, from That Z Podcast. Oh, yeah, what's up, man? <laughs> you good, brother? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good, my bro. We're actually shooting a podcast right now in your life. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, okay. we were having a pretty interesting discussion and your name came up. So, you know, like, we don't like talking people, we don't, we don't like talking to, about people behind their backs. So I figured let me give you a shout. Oh, okay. Wait. So apparently there was a song that you made. Okay. I don't know the title of the song, where you spoke about Chameleon having child so many Chilangam Lilos. <laughs> Raph, I'm here, man. Where did that come from? The five Chilangam Lilos. Chi- the five Chilangam Lilos. I, I said actually six. Um, <laughs> 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 yeah. Uh, what happened? What happened was, um, you know, uh, you know uh, that that song was about what's trending in the game. Uh huh. So, uh, what's trending? So, uh, it was one of the main topics around then. You know. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think he he knows. People were talking about it. I think the team was even I say, saying someone is. I, I think people are, talk, are talking about me like this, you know. So, yeah. So you were just basically reporting what was already being said. Yeah, it's like the headline, like for the whole year. And then I put <laughs> I wasn't it in the only one he talked about anyway. <laughs> <laughs> talked about Rene was right. Well, we're actually with him right now. Uh, we are shooting a whoa, podcast. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> you, want, you want to say what's up? <laughs> what's up, my G? What's up? What's up? You all right? I'm on yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, my friend, I'm in, I'm in the shooting range here, man. You're killing me, man. <laughs> okay, don't worry, don't worry. It's so good, man. That's how we are playing. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we thought of calling you, and then, oh, he thought of calling you, and then, <laughs> so we could get the truth out of you. So, I don't know, man. Anyway, but you've told us. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. So, Ruff, we, we just needed that confirmation, and thanks a lot, man. And because uh, Chameleon believes you started that room, and then the, wor- the world picked up on it. <laughs> so now I know the truth. But where, where, where do you think it came from, though? Chameleon eating a Filanga five. I just ate one or two. <laughs> not, not two, you are so one. Nah. <laughs> Rough, thanks, thanks a lot, man. Thanks no, a lot. I'll give you an example, man. <laughs> you have a child and then you bring the first one, second one, third one, fourth one. Fifth one, you'll be like, son, you're mad, you know? Mm-hmm. Don't bring your madness to me because you make me look mad too. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know? <laughs> so it's like that with me as well. I mean, how? How can I take that rubbish to my to my family mm, mm. and make them accept it? Mm. Mm. Anyway, before we were interrupted by Elson, you were talking mm-hmm. about uh, you know you'd meet as a gang. Is it the yeah yeah the as scene, a the gang? Scene, it's, uh, <laughs> well, as the a musical group. gang, the, the clique, yeah. the band, yeah. whatever you call it. Because yeah. you know DEC watches this, right? <laughs> <laughs> now you're saying this man here has got gangs. <laughs> anyway, so you as guys would meet. Charlie mm. would play the guitar. A lot of you yeah. sing along and stuff. Yeah, so exactly. you're coming up in the game. So it was so easy to, you know, express yourself because we were like a family, you know. Mm. 
And uh, we, we just, you know, we showcase our talents and everyone, we just do whatever they have to do. And funny enough, you know, my stuff would come out on top. So mm. whenever we recorded, it was like different, totally different. And that's what Charlie picked and pushed through. But he didn't neglect the other guys. He just concentrated a bit more on me. Would you say he discovered you or you just showed up at the studio? Like, what, what were you singing before you linked up with the, 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 the clip? I was, I was the in gang? SA. I was in South Africa. I was at school. What, what were you studying? Yeah, um, I, was at, I was doing my grade 11 and 12. Um, oh, you went to high school there? Yeah, high school. And um, I did computer engineering there as well. I did computer engineering too. In uh, SA as well? Yeah, yeah. In SA too? Wait, where did you go for your high school? Damley. And your university? Um, the whole, which was college, the whole, just college. Oh, right. Yes. Is it, what's, uh, it, what's it called? Damelin. Where is that? It's in Joburg. Oh, right. I was in Pretoria. Uh, ah, okay. Right. I was scared of Joburg. Right? Ah, I was a Joburg. Kid. But let me tell you, there's, um, <clears throat> there's a place. <clears throat> I forget the name, but it's a hotel. And it's near the MTN Bree station. <clears throat> I see you're smiling because <clears throat> you know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> I know it, man. <laughs> you know it, right? Yeah, yeah. Where, yeah. When you walk in, you uh-huh. get patted down, and then you walk up the stairs. Yeah. My man. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What, what's, what's in this hotel? Nothing <laughs> at all, bro. Leo, <laughs> mm. I'm just, I'm asking for a friend who could be in SA right now, or could be going to SA. Well, they probably will know the place already. <laughs> <laughs> just, know there was the, the enjo- of, just know there was enjoyment. Mm. The, the name Santa of the place Cruz again? Santa Claus knows what's there. Santa oh, Claus knows oh, what's oh. there. <laughs> just oh, know oh, there was oh, enjoyment. Oh, Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> The, the name of the place again? I forget. <laughs> it was a while back. Mm, but it's very me. popular. Yeah, it is, actually. I'm asking popular. for a friend. <laughs> <laughs> you say that as you put it yourself. Anyway, yes. yeah. dude, you study computer, what? Computer science? Engineering. Engineering. Engineering? Have you ever worked, like, practice what you I, study? I tried. I mean, it didn't work. Because, you know, computers, are like, it's like the, the course, you have to update it all the time. Mm. And if you... You can't keep uh, working on Windows 2000, you know. Mm. You have to keep going with the years. Depending on what Whenever you make. Whenever they it. upgrade. Yeah, depending. Yeah, yeah. If you did programming, I mean, you can, the core of programming, you can actually go ahead with it. Mm-hmm. But then music, I, I got so soaked into music that um, I left the computer thing, thing back. It's a lot of money in that, I'll tell you now. Yeah, right. <clears throat> Too much. Well, this was putting my, th- my son through school. Yeah. Uh, First house that I got was as a result of that. I'm thinking of going back. You need to. Yeah. Programming right now, it's it, literally, think of any organization. Any organization. Um, I, I remember I'm watching Steve Jobs and you were saying, you know, the, the beauty of life is the minute that you, you tell yourself that everything that you see around you was built by someone. Yeah. You're consuming something that somebody out there mm-hmm. thought of and yeah. from this table to these microphones to this mm-hmm. cell phone. Someone Everything. thought about it and made it. Mm-hmm. And so when you're a programmer, you are yeah. able to make something that other people yeah, would exactly. use. Yeah. Mm. You can walk into an office and someone tells you, can you believe we're doing everything? Like National Milling, for example. Yeah. These guys were doing everything manually. Ah. Money was being stolen. Ah. People would write, would write fake receipts. Oh, then someone we, came in and... Right, yeah, me, oh. someone. <laughs> <laughs> nice, Te boasting, te boasting. Kuyumfo. Okay. Yeah, I know, right? No, no, that's the beauty. So, yeah, so, yeah, so, so if you can, that's man, I, I, would, I, I would implore you. It's, um... Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 let's do it. Why not? You spoke, <laughs> you, you, spoke you know, so... In, uh, what's the word? You spoke about your, 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 your I parents. I still struck. I had actually. No, you spoke about no, your parents, no. and uh, it sounds like a very close knit family, mm-hmm. and I like that. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to understand. They send you to uni to study computer science, but then you end up in music. How do they take that? Mm, dad was upset, man. <laughs> mm. Especially all the money he must have paid yeah, for computer I mean, engineering, he was upset. <laughs> and you come back with a microphone. <laughs> <laughs> Not a microphone. Something similar to this. <laughs> it was a gadget, like you know, something that was trending at the time in music. Some Nigerian guy sold it to me. I use my school fees to buy it. <laughs> but then, I mean, it was wow. a sacrifice really, because um, it opened up a door that never closed after now. <laughs> mm. Yeah, so um, he was upset. He was really upset with me. But then as the money started rolling in, mm. he was like, oh, okay, okay, cool. 
You know what you should have done, Kalinga. So, mm. so this man here insists on using this, but he does not pay attention because his father. Are you listening to me, Kalinga? I am listening to you. <laughs> sent him to school to do computer engineering and he chose to do music and yep. the dad was upset, but because he stuck to his passion and it ended up paying off. Right. And his dad ended up accepting it, especially when the money started coming in, mm-hmm. you know, the drop you should have played for the dad. <coughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. You played it's yourself. Great movie making, man. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> now we already have Kazali. Love, love, love directing right the there. whole lot. That's yeah. a script right there, Derek. Yeah, yeah, we already have uh, Kazali for that. <laughs> I, my, my English is not so good. I to... can work with people. Man. I wonder how. I, I, I can't ask the questions that I can't ask mm. because they're so <laughs> too. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, there's something that I was going to ask about movie making and that I know people would want to know and what people like Kazari go through. Uh, are you a bit worried down maybe? Censor it yeah, some, somehow? Know, somehow. <laughs> yeah, okay, let's let it go. Okay. I've never... Can we have an episode where we don't have a sponsor, please? <laughs> I've never seen Elson speechless. This is, this is the first. <laughs> Can we... I, I never expected this. I never expected this. I never expected it. Oh, look at that. That was a segue to you just trying to... <laughs> no, but honestly, I, I never expected it. I never expected it. <laughs> Dude, so we're talking about your dad. Okay. okay. We're, we're talking about your dad. You're one of those guys who... Every guy talks about the mom, but you're... Were you closer to your dad? What? Anton um, Ham- what's, what's that racing guy? Hamilton? Mm. Lewis Hamilton, yeah? He yeah, speaks he's about the dad a lot. Lloyd, uh, Floyd Mayweather. Mbappe. Okay. Yeah. The reason is um, my parents divorced when I was young. Like five years old, and my dad came in and raised us from that time. So, but you think your mom would do that? Why is it that your dad? I'm I'm close to my mom, no doubt. So Mm. she's already there. So, (laughs) but I'm I'm saying normally the person who takes custody is the mother. So why is that in this case it was your father? No, no. um, Actually, mom took us in. I mean, she took us with her. So dad came in as in to raise us all of us into the same house. Family, yeah, into the family. Your parents divorced. What am I missing here? Yeah. Your parents divorced. Divorced. Dad left. Uh huh. He went back to Malawi because I'm half Malawi and half Zambia. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. So he went back to Malawi. Uh huh. And mom stayed here with us. Uh huh. Yeah. So dad came in and the family started again. So your dad moved in back with your mom and everyone not else. My dad, my stepdad. Oh, All right. Oh, right. 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 Now right. that makes right. sense. Right. Yeah, yeah. I don't you like do- calling him that. <laughs> Wait. So. So, so there's two guys here. There's your biological father. Is it that's the he's one from Malawi? Malawi. Yeah. So he's the one that went to Malawi. Yeah. And your stepdad was from Malawi too. No, he's Zambian. He's from Luapula. That's how. He's, that's so how what you said? He came back and he was yeah, in Bemba influence. No, as in he raised us. Dad went back to Malawi. Yes, but after that you did. Okay. So, so basically, your biological father didn't quite raise you after the divorce. Mm. Okay. Wow. But what was the relationship like? Were, were you still in touch? Or? Yeah, yeah, we were. Okay. But did, not that often. Did you have any resentment towards him? No, 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 not really. I'm not so, that kind of child. <laughs> so, no, but, but, but I wasn't that kind of but, child. But, 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 but check this out, Brad. Like, I've always said the heart wants it once. You might be like a really nice person, mm. but because at times you feel he's done wrong, either by you, your siblings, your mom, you can't no, help but feel a certain kind of way. You know, dad used to beat us up, man. Oh, <laughs> the discipline was heavy, man. Word? Oh. Serious? Mm. That's, that explains how I'm so rough on everyone. <laughs> mm. Are you rough though? I mean, I just I just put everyone under pressure. Like my manager, he complains all the time. Yeah, he was giving me a tough time. I'm like, but he shouldn't complain about pressure. Pressure's for tires. No, but he's he's good. He deals with pressure like no one's business. So I like him for that. <laughs> so which which dad was upset when you ended up in music? The stepdad. Stepdad. Right. Okay. Well, I'm allowed we couldn't give a damn, bro. <laughs> no, you you wouldn't. You, you can't know that. If but, dad yeah. was a, my if my dad was alive after now. You guys wouldn't have been talking to me. For, for, why was that? He didn't like me doing music. He never, because mm-hmm. a cousin of mine from Malawi used to do music and he, li- he never liked it. He's <laughs> like, this is rubbish that you do. Yeah, because the guy probably didn't succeed, right? <laughs> okay. He didn't reach your levels. No, no, no. Because, yeah. mm. I mean, at some point, you, you were like the most booked artist in Zambia at some point. There, there, there was never a gig without Camille between 2002 time, to about 2006, seven somewhere. That there. time competition was uh, was not that stiff. Mm. There were not so many artists that were blowing up doing um, the kind of music that we did. It was you or Exile. Yeah, yeah at yeah. gigs. That's yeah. why the only person I feel like right now is Exile. 
I hear he's releasing an album. <laughs> I don't know. Well, push well, back well. to release my album. Release. <laughs> oh, do you have an album coming up? Mm. In August. Oh, dope. Oh, this is August. Yeah. Oh, we're in August now. We're right? in August. Yeah, we're in August now. Yeah, so we're getting ready. We're gearing up. <laughs> ah, so yeah. it's not a coincidence that you decided to come on the podcast, huh? It was good timing, actually. <laughs> good you, timing. You, you let's, call, let's call it good timing. <laughs> good timing, yeah. Dude, um, you know, you're, you're, you're still, re- like, Exile, you're still releasing music, and are you still receiving the same, you know, love, the same... <sighs> Um, numbers in terms of sales like you used to back in the day? Have your see, fans grown with you? Are the numbers still the same? See, back then, it was difficult to put a finger on the number. Because mm. of, like right now, you can tell because of uh, the followers and whatever, because of social right. media. Then social media wasn't existing. Mm. It was still in Baghdad. <laughs> 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 so um, now at least you can tell how many followers you have. You can put a finger on what on how the, the numbers are growing. Mm. Yeah. Because back then it was just TV, newspaper, radio. Right. That's it. Because <coughs> I remember to, to get the CDs out, we used to travel to Choma. Me and Charlie would travel to Choma, <laughs> like on a truck, behind the truck. Damn. Yes. Well, they would drop us off by the roadside. They would walk to a radio station in Choma. Then give them a master copy. And then after a week, they would print. They would bring them back to Lusaka and sell them at the town center. So we built the whole foundation for all these guys who are making it now. And they don't appreciate. So, I mean, it is what it is. <laughs> who, who, who specifically? The new guys. <laughs> Who's, who sings like he does? Um, Young Maps? <laughs> no. Oh, no, no. You're the one that was telling me that Young Maps that is always <laughs> complaining in his songs. I was? You don't remember telling me that in all his songs sounds like it's complaining. Oh, there are quite a number of songs, yeah. But not all of them. <clears throat> who sings like Chameleon now? No, no, no. Remember in my preamble, I actually said Chameleon was described as yeah, Westlife yeah. in one human being because of his melodic tones, mm. his uh, sing-along yeah, type of music. Like yeah, P- actually, PJ, when he came on the scene, we thought, so some of his first songs, we thought was you. There's a song that played, it's piano. Yeah. I actually called Charlie, when did you release that song? I mean, we, when did we do that song? Because <laughs> it sounded too PJ much like you. Me, Charlie told me, that's PJ, man. I was like, what? <laughs> I thought it was mine. Yeah, but the voices were too similar, man. Come think of it, yeah. Mm, it's right, yeah. He was a good friend, though. He was a good friend? Yeah. Yeah, rest in peace. You know, if God had a day when you just open the doors and then bring back the dead just to perform for one day, mm. I think he would be one of them. <laughs> what killed him? I'd love to watch him. He was in a car accident first and he was in hospital yeah, for a long time. For a long time. Yeah. 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 No, there's something about car accidents, man. Terminal when someone dies, stuff, yeah. you, like, <clears throat> when someone is sick, Psychologically, you kind of like prepare, you prepare yourself. Yeah, you prepare yourself. When the guys like they've taken, you've taken them away from you. Right. Yeah. It's, it's it's too sudden. Like a snatch. Yeah, right. Yeah. So all the especially, memories and stuff. Right. Like, especially if they're healthy. Mm, you were just talking to up, them. Yeah. Jeez, man. Do you go to therapy like for for stuff like that? How do you how do you manage to still function the same? Because I mean, your brain won't be the same. <laughs> I mean, no, it's not. It's not. The thought pattern and the treatment to other people won't be the same. So I mean. And you might not even notice it. It's the people around you that notice yeah. that now you're a bit more aggressive exactly. or you're, you're a bit of a recluse. Work, <laughs> I'm now more interested in the, the struggles that you face coming up in the game. You've already described getting on the back of a truck to mm. trauma. <laughs> Please share with us more of such struggles, man, that you went through coming up in the game, just putting the name out there, the music out there. And, um, you know, today things are different. Mm. The marketing is um, easier. Right. With it's social media. You, yeah. You just put your music out there and then people say, oh, we like it or we don't like it or we support you or we don't. You know, back then you had to really put it in people's faces in a way or two. Mm. Go on radio, talk about it. Interviews, you just had to. You know, the artists that don't want to be interviewed. They mm. just don't want to be interviewed. And it's easier because now social media does it for you. Mm. Back then you just had to go out there, whether you're stupid or bougie or whatever. You have to go out there. Yeah, I mean, we invited Nez Long last week. He stopped picking up our calls. So, yeah. And his girlfriend. Yeah. Uh, Don't say we, you. I would have... Yeah, I, 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 again, I was, I was just about... what you'd have done. I was, I was about to... Wow, ah, man. When, when I sent him a screenshot about the conversation, it's like, it's like, you are a way better person than I am. <laughs> No, man, it's just so disrespectful, if you, yeah, especially is, if you put people together and you don't have the decency to excuse yourself. That is childish and, uh, ass behavior. Did you ever get to interview your mom? No. I don't think that's ever happening, though. It's not happening? I don't think they so. They stopped answering his call. What? Oh. Yeah. It's 
And he, I mean, we're, we're and between the two of us, too. he is the more likable one. So now you can imagine if they're not picking up his call. My calls too. So. Then he's not picking up your calls. Your maps doesn't pick up your calls. Wow. <laughs> Why? He's your maps, man. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a lot anyway, to say. Enough, just, I, I, I almost said the same thing, no, but I think it takes me back to... No, that's not, that's not no, even I'm, a beef. I'm not going to. I'm not going to. I'm just saying I have a lot to say. Mm. You did, said, I tell you, did I tell you that Kandega threatened to beat me up? <laughs> yeah, he, call, he called me to tell you that he's going to beat you up. Yeah, and he threatened to beat me up. He, so when he met me, he said that in, in, in Vanak. How does that happen in this day and age? I have, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. Camilla, you said with all the work that you put in coming up in the game, you paved the way for so many artists and they don't appreciate you. Mm. I've been with, you know, the new age art, let, let's call them current artists. Mm. And we sit down and we talk about things that the older generation say. People like you, Ozzy, who've come on the platform before, Ozzy's, Ozzy passed a similar sentiment like you just did. Mm -hmm. The current guys don't appreciate us guys who came before them. Mm. But why do you feel they need to appreciate you? And... Why do you feel the new artists feel maybe they are a better crop than you guys because maybe they've got bigger songs out now and things like that? Okay. Um, whether they like it or not, mm. we open doors for them. Right. Because if, if we didn't do what we did, no one would be listening to them right now. I mean, it would be a different story right now. Because then music was different. Then music, you had to play live music. Like mm. Pongo, this is the PKs and all those guys. Then came in this generation of computer music. Mm. Totally different music. You just go into a studio in your bedroom. Like I made my, my music from my room. Mm. So now these guys of today, it's easier now for them to actually do what they have to do because of what we did back then. It, people got to accept it and they loved it. And now they love their stuff. And it's because of what we did. Mm. Mm. It is what it is. Whether you like it or not, mm. we paved the way for them. If they don't see that, I mean, they let them continue what they do. Mm -hmm. The armpit will never be on the shoulder, you know. <laughs> never. <laughs> It'll stay where it is. So young boys will always be young boys. <laughs> mm -hmm. Is there 16 more minutes left? No. It's telling us uh, 10 more minutes left, actually. So what's 16.30? Oh, we should finish by 16.30. All right. So, yeah. Maybe, maybe your maps was not picking up your phone because you thought you wanted to ask for money. Mm. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. No. okay. Um, no, of course not. No. Okay. <laughs> but, uh, but are you? But he's, bro, he's got his own reasons. Maybe he was busy in the studio. I don't. Know. Do you want us to ask him? But does he have your number though? Because it I'm, I'm, Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, I think what, what was that on social media? I was saying he gets about seven hundred calls a day. You see now. You see that. Prob that's probably the reason why he gets seven hundred calls a day. Because whenever I'm in the studio, I don't even want to pick up my girlfriend's call. Oh, and he's a busy guy, so we're probably in the studio all the time recording. And, uh, well, and also, like every minute that passes by. But does he have your number, though? No, he does. Oh. He does, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, one day he will return your call. I think, I think maybe he was busy. Yeah. He was busy. But we've talked. We've talked before. We've had a conversation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. We yeah. had a show together at the music club. Ah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was it him that you spoke to, or was it um, the they... promoters? Uh, it's either him or Kandika. I've never talked to anyone else. Mm. Yeah. Uh, okay. And then your your new album, what kind of a yeah. fi feel does it have? Uh, you have to listen to it to understand. It's, it's mm. totally different. The new manager that I have has really helped here and there to shape it up. So we've brought in new talent because it's good to bring in um, new producers and um, guys who look at music differently because the sound has changed now. Mm. I mean, I love Charlie and all, but then the sound has changed now. And so it's not Charlie that produced this? But he's going to have the final touch. Okay. Him, Jerry Fingers, and the other guys. Bro, so quick question yeah. as we wind up. Yeah. Apart from Kalenga and millions of Zambians mm. that have listened to you, mm. believe it or not, there's a very small demographic of people like me that have never listened to any of your music. Mm -hmm. So if you are to advise me mm. and maybe five other people who have never listened to your music, mm to go and listen to a particular song or album, which one would you... Tate and Daddy, because I know you have kids. Oh, yeah, that was a good one. Yeah. That was a good one. So would you sleep on your kids right now? I mean, 
Like, would you, would you sleep whilst they're suffering out there? Of course not. Yeah. Hey, speaking of kids, I mean, <laughs> I, you so know you how touch something in your life at least. Yeah, of one of the songs. Do you have kids? Yeah. Oh, how many? One. <laughs> oh, okay. That you know of. <laughs> <laughs> and you know it's gonna come. Yeah, but uh, I've, got, I've, got, I've got a, I've got one child as well. Um, I don't want to talk about the other. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's, it's a long story. <laughs> yeah, but um, oh, so there's something there. Oh Lord, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna be. Right, you should, you should reach out to this woman. <laughs> you should reach out to this woman. I'll kill me. Yeah. You should reach out to this woman in the copper belt. No, no, I can't do that. She doesn't want me to. How do you know? You last spoke when you were 10. Things have no, changed. I mean, we, we've I mean, you're famous before, now. but then just meeting. No, we haven't met in a long time. Okay. Yeah. No, meeting is where you see each other and talk, right? Yeah. So I've seen her like what granddad is. Oh, there she is. But you didn't go up to her and speak. No, no, no. You didn't tell her. Her husband, is, uh, her husband is really, really strict. Serious, that time. her to meet me. Because <laughs> he knows. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He knows it'll be crickets, it'll be game over for him. <laughs> they're, married, they're happily married, and I'm happy for them. I don't think there's happily there. Married, yeah. No, they're billionaires. They're billionaires. From, they're happy. No, money, ah. Money is oh, is, is, is the guy rich? Oh, jeez. Do, do we know the guy? So now, now, now it's narrowing down to. Do we, do we know the guy? Now? Is, no. is he like a popular guy? By the guy? end of this episode, we're going to have a name. The way things are going right now? No, no. no. Is, is he a popular guy? No. Is no, is popular he? there, not here. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, Come in, we're talking about your album. So, yeah, what, yeah. What, yeah, yeah. what kind of a feel do you think you've? Uh, I know you've spoken about you've brought in new producers and yeah. the likes, but so the the trending sound now is Afro pop. So mm-hmm. we've gone into that uh, genre and it's working. So nice, so good. Yeah. nice. Do you think the younger generation are gonna buy into Chameleon? Those who've never heard of Chameleon with this album. Um, I'll tap into a bit of the younger generation, but more to the older side eh, because. I'm talking about um, like concrete relationships, like marriage and mm. things that grown people go through. It's difficult to talk, to talk about stuff that young people go through. Cause You're not young. I'm not young. I mean, you, you were young for <laughs> 40, 50 years ago. No, no, 40. <laughs> <laughs> and look, you're young at heart. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> let's 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 take that one. Yeah. Yeah. So um, it is what it is. Who, who have you featured on the album? Guess. Guess. Um, Exile is. Um, Major Vibes is a new guy. Mm. Um, Mordecai? No, no. no. Okay. What do you think of Mordecai? Uh, he, he's good. Like, you know, any talent that involves playing instruments and stuff, that's, you need to be. Oh, and he's a guitarist, yeah. Yeah, he's a yeah. guitarist. He is, actually. And you have to encourage that most with the artists, the new guys. Because you have to learn how to play an instrument to call yourself a musician. <laughs> what mm. else do they call you? An artist. Yeah. Yeah. I play something at least, keyboard, whatever, you know. Like the guys abroad, like chaps in South Africa and other countries, Europe and them. At least they can play something, you know. Yeah, but geez, it's, it's hard to find a Phil Collins, man. Mm-hmm. The, the guy can play anything. Yeah, yeah, it's hard true. to find a Phil Collins. You know who else played an instrument but was a horrible person? Who? What's the no oh, man, <laughs> the former president of America, the guy who had uh, who had or, uh, oral sex in the in the Oval Office, Not Clinton. Clinton, ah. he played the saxophone. What? No. <laughs> you couldn't just remember his name. <laughs> How else would you describe him? <laughs> <laughs> we need to we need we need to leave now. Ah, oh, gosh, man. Um, like we're interviewing each other. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> Chameleon. Yeah. Um, you got two minutes. Yeah, I know. Okay. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I really can't wait to sample the, the, new, album. the new album and mm. uh, just get a feel of what the new chameleon sounds I'm sure like. I'll give you a copy. That would be that'll beautiful, man. Yeah, because copy, what is it, CDs? Oh, what is it now, eh? <laughs> a link. Yeah, rather. Spotify, <laughs> YouTube link, something, exactly. yeah. Smacker doesn't play CDs. So now we had an argument with my manager. We're saying, where would you get the most... Um, like, Plays, you know, yeah. streams, yeah. Boom play or these other Spotify's and the iTunes. I think Spotify's and iTunes is more for the bougie people because um, you paid you paid monthly. Boom play, you don't. Mm. But I would I would I would say just put your music on all those streaming platforms. Yeah. 
Spotify. Those that have yes. Spotify will be able to stream it. Those that have uh, mm-hmm. Apple Music are able to stream it. Boomplay. Yes. I think you'll get your most streams on Boomplay, though. Yeah, because that's new cats don't. Uh, that's why I'm working with the young guys. So and and the sure. language is used on this album. If I can squeeze one question in, Mr. Director. I can? Cool. Yeah. Languages? Are you sticking uh, Bimba, to just... English, English. Yeah. Squeezing everything. Yeah. Speaking of English, yeah. can I just remind you of your most international <laughs> song ever? <laughs> Which one? Ever. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> this one actually deserves horns. <laughs> and, and if I could just also remind you about uh, artists from Your Crop. You guys had intro hit songs. <laughs> an intro to an album, uh, but it's also okay. a hit song. <laughs> okay. Another day? Yeah, yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, that was beautiful. We, we came up with that trend of uh, bringing in intros and stuff. And bridges in songs. Because everyone yeah. just had a normal way of producing music. And yeah, I remember... We started n- that and everyone followed it. And, yeah, yeah, I remember yeah, Nadia Charlie Ndelo was like one of the first to have like a yeah. bridge like that. So we'd but, actually produce the music and then give it to Charlie. I used to live uh, by the Zambia with Flats. Mm-hmm. So I was like downstairs, Charlie was upstairs. But do you ever think you're going to beat Another Day? The album itself and that intro, to be precise. I don't know. It's like I tell you, have you ever going to have a better child than your firstborn? <laughs> if it Point? happens, it happens. Point? You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> you have to have, what? Better positions <laughs> to get a better child? Is that true? <laughs> <laughs> I That's mean, what? <laughs> if an album is out there yeah. and it's good, um, whatever happens, I mean, if we work harder or mm. work smarter or I don't know, People are the ones that are going to tell us what will come up. Yeah. yeah so no, I'm, I'm, we'll leave it up to them. I'm just taken back, man, because uh, when that album came out, you could not get onto a bus, a taxi, without hearing yeah. that intro. Oh, oh, there's that and something else. <laughs> What's that? After that, I couldn't get on a bus or a taxi. You were too famous. A, yeah. tell, us, tell us about that, man. <laughs> you have a bit of time. Tell us about that. No, was, How your life changed? I haven't been on a bus in like almost 10 years. Mm. 20 years, actually. Right. 25, actually. Mm. So it started off from that time. Just after the music. And then I was actually on a bus and people put money together to get on a taxi. Like, come on. No way. Us. Are you yeah. for real? From that time, I was like, never, never. Ah, crap. Just reminded me of something. On uh, Radio Phoenix, I think it was like 2001. I remember something to the radio. I think it was like a top 10. You remember the Saturday top 10 countdown yeah, at yeah, night? Yeah. And somebody calls in after your song played. And they say, we just saw Camille buying vegetables. And it became a big ah. issue because <laughs> then the radio presenter was defending you guys saying, ah, but he's a human being and he's a Zambian just like us. Yes, he has a hit song. Doesn't mean his life should change drastically. Yeah. Sure. But I mean, if uh, people were paying for your taxi, then a lot of expectation... Oh, then was heard from people of you. Yeah, I mean, people don't expect us to be normal after, you know, all that. Expect it to be super people. I don't know I mean, if, if there's a word like that. Bro, I'm going to have to cut this short. Uh, <laughs> this man here won't stop. Yeah, okay. He's like a stan, he's like a super fan. <laughs> and super um, fan. the cameras we're using okay. will sadly are limiting us from, from going further. Okay. So, yep, Let's, we have to wrap this up. We have been recording from Lifestyle Studio at East Park Mall. So if you want to record something like this, you can come through here as well. And also, Zantel. You know, this water actually up. prevents gout. You say what? This water prevents gout. Oh, Kim didn't tell us that. Oh, does it? She was on the previous episode. How can I? What? Serious? I've got gout, so I, I know it. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. It's almost like he knew when, 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 when he got, because he got the water. Yeah. yeah. See? <laughs> I wanted to hear more about those come up stories. But anyway, we can do a part two sometime soon. And uh, Elson, just maybe Zamtil again. <clears throat> yeah, no, you've already said it. Powered by Zamtil. Till the next episode, remember to click on subscribe and also listen to this man's new album. Let's yeah. support Zambian music full to circle. the max. That's, full That's full circle because you've been in the industry for what, 20 something years? 25. So why full circle, by the way, before we. Because um, I've been through everything and God has given me another chance to showcase myself. Mm. Yeah, others are dead, others are either in jail, mm. and um, I've been through it all. I've messed up, <laughs> come back, and I'm trying to live by example now. As in, we can do better. We always end the podcast with asking this: If the, uh, the, is there any question that you wished we asked you that we haven't asked you on this episode? Ah, you already did the marriage part. <laughs> <laughs> Till the next episode, have a lovely day. Tan 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 tan, 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 tan 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 tan.